The Story of Carlos, Chapter 3 It was New Year's Eve and the day before Carlos's birthday. Birthdays weren't a big thing at the orphanage. Too many of the boys there had no idea when they were born, so the whole thing was played down. Nobody seemed particularly excited by the fact that they were entering a new year either. Everyone slept. The orphanage was peaceful until... It sounded like an explosion. There was fire sweeping up the walls of the orphanage. Carlos opened his eyes and all around there was chaos. There were men walking around the dormitory with masks on, asking the boys questions. They were searching for somebody. They were looking for Carlos. Carlos heard one of the men asking Tom where Carlos was. Carlos rolled off the bed and scampered underneath. He waited until one of the men had walked past and then he scurried into his cupboard and closed the door. He could just make out the proceedings through a small crack. The orphanage was clearly on fire, but the men weren't trying to leave. They had lined all the boys up beside their beds and were asking them where Carlos was. Then the monks were brought in and were asked the same question. They all answered truthfully. We don't know, he should have been in his bed. But the men weren't satisfied. They began shouting that the monks were hiding him. One of the monks was knocked to the ground. Carlos thought the monks would be shot, but the man who was clearly the leader grabbed the gun. He ordered that all the monks and all the boys be removed and taken to the castle. Then one by one, they were marched out. By now, the flames had engulfed most of the orphanage and Carlos felt that he would be burned alive. Carlos waited as long as he could. Then, <laughs> coughing and spluttering, he burst out of the cupboard. He didn't really know why, but he made a special point of grabbing his old stuffed rabbit. He rushed out of the room and down the stairs to the ground floor. But ahead of him, the front door seemed obliterated by flames.